Trying to figure out angles for this Osmo. So we'll try some different things. Oh, well, here's the roundabout. Yeah, so it's it's Friday before Easter. Uh, time to basically three o'clock. So even if it wasn't a holiday weekend, everybody'd still be on their midday break right now. Essentially everybody stops working from one till three every day, weekdays. So the street should be pretty quiet. If we get into Condesia Vela, you'll see the uh, Pump there should be kind of full. Check it in a minute. All right, almost in condition Vela here. Um, I just switched into FPV mode. We'll see how that works. I mean, I know first person view is pretty good, but the Osmo pockets seem to be drifting a little to the like the left when I had it on uh, tilt lock. So I'm not, I'm not sure what the deal is with that. But yeah, try it this way and see how it goes. Got to have batteries, so I'll try to get some footage of uh, through Condesha Velha and Conimbriga and then I connect to the trail so I'm going to try and connect two of the main trails that I've been biking on previously so yeah one of them is like uh, Camino de Santiago and it kind of goes up and over the hill over there and uh, so it goes up and over that hill and basically behind that, where you can see the shaded hill in the back, that's kind of more light, because there's a valley in between, but that one should be the other side of the highway that goes to Poco, or the side road that goes to Poco. And uh, there's a nice trail that goes around. That's where I did the uh, trail ride up to the peak, which I'm not gonna do today since it's nearly 30 degrees today, so. Just gonna bike around and have some fun.
Imagine these ruts on a 10% to 15% grade. That's what a lot of the backcountry roads are like. Okay, so here's the sign, Camino de Santiago is where I'm going. It's actually straight down this road, and then it goes up. Poco da Casca. So there's also the uh, trail that I went for a hike on before. It veers off of it this way, but uh, we're not gonna go for a hike today, just gonna go for a bike ride and try to connect the trails. There we go. Yeah, it starts out just like this dirt road here. I just aired down my front tire. I just, uh... I just fixed the flag yesterday morning. Good. Right. Yeah, yesterday morning I realized I got a slow leak from something the previous trip and uh, on the big honking very stiff thorn poking through my tube or through my tire into the tube so so uh not cool here's a little bit of the taste here Let this guy go by. You good? He doesn't want to go by. Oh well. Driving his motorcycle up this road. Not really an adventure bike either. I'm gonna take it a little easy since it is so hot out today. There are some fun up and overs, these little rocks, so when oh, you pedal strike them. Take a little breath at this flat spot. Nice bike here.
Ja, und da there is the uh, trail turn off for the waterfall trails, which is a pretty good long hike in the one direction. I'm gonna stop here and grab a sip of water before this next rutted uphill. Let's run in. Beautiful in the woods though. Alright. I'm in first gear. Just gonna have to grind this out and not drift into the rut. Oh, feels like the first ride in 10 days. We had a car rental for four days. From, what was it, Friday to Tuesday? So. Maximize our driving times. Which means bike riding time was minimized. Again, that means right now heart rate is maximized. Oh. There we go. Slow spin. Keep it spinning. 42 teeth by 30. 29er. <clears throat> Definitely feeling like I haven't biked in over a week. But hey, at least my tire fix is holding up. I'm trying to be pretty thorough and, you know, after seeing the thorn, I fully removed the, the tire from the rim, felt down the whole thing inside and out, made sure there's no more thorns, and actually found a second tiny one lingering in the rubber. So if I had gone down, hit a rock in the right spot, it would have pushed into puncture. So yeah, glad I found that. Almost at the top of this guy. Still in first gear, trolling up. Doesn't look too bad, but the constant grade with uh, Constant bumps, golf ball sized gravel, plus embedded rock. Let's not make it easy. Just past the signpost coming, that's where uh, trail flattens out of it. Then we get a little downhill, which later will be an uphill. Actually, I might just do a loop. And the highway back out instead of up and over the mountain again. Yeah. Deep breaths. Breath. 
breath time. Hold up. See, I guess this one is actually part of Camino de Santiago, which is cool because that's actually a huge trail system. It goes all over and you camp along it and basically a pilgrimage, right? But yeah, so it's cool. So down here where I'm going next is actually nice to... I've come up it once, make that twice, and uh, it was fun. It's a struggle to get up. It's a bit steeper than when I actually just came up, so... <clears throat> we'll see how good I do. Let's see how it goes, anyways. This is like first trial run using chesty strap and the Osmo pocket strapped into there with like a a latch in kind of GoPro mount on the Osmo. So let's see. I mean, I'm not a crazy downhiller anyway, but let's see. It's always gonna be fun. It's way more fun that I don't have to use my my silly uh what do you call it? Stupid phone mounts. Cause man, that thing rattles like crazy. Okay, here we go. Found the band. I'm running round bend. No 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 but then the band. Oh, yeah. Yes, you can see the fun here. It's like nice. Kind of swoopy. When you're on the downhill too, those little jet out rocks are nice to kind of push off of. Sometimes the ruts get a little bit much. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Especially on a sun tour cross-country 100 mil fork that you only get 80 mils out of with no rebound damping. Whoa! Oh yeah! Get a little speedy. There we go. Nice shitty six inch rotors calm that down on it. Alright, a little turn off though. Not sure where that goes. Oh, this is really washed out here. Let's go up on this trail side here. That looks good. Oh, okay. Let's see if you can see out of that water. Looks a little... Looks a little poopy. Oh, some chunky. Chunky coming up the rock. Alright, alright. Yeah. So once I get a little further, I'm gonna stop and check my map because. Uh, sorry. I know the one time I came fully in the opposite direction on this trail, it was quite a steep push. Literally pushing the bike. <laughs> up a very, it's much more narrow if I remember right, section of this trail, but I think it is the same trail. There's some ATVs out there. Anyways, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it sounds like I'm way too close to the highway here, so yeah. I think, I think I should have been on a different trail. Yeah, two minutes drive, six minutes biking it says. Let's see how long it takes, moderate hill. <laughs> Might as well pop that on the mount since it's an uphill, not a downhill. Shouldn't rifle me bones like crazy too badly. All right, let's see. Maybe Google's gonna be the one that saves me. I think it's probably just that I need to turn left. 
probably should have turned left at that intersecting trail. Well, that's cool. I didn't even feel this a bit of uphill here. I was so busy uh, cruising. That's cool. Yeah, you can see if he's got to turn around in these trails, though. Okay, let's not, let's not go for a swim. Oh, I gotta back up this. Oh man. All right. Here I come. Come, come. Da -da 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 -da. Trying to like tweak my Google Maps. I didn't realize I turned that far. That's what happens when you're going on these high speed swoop and it's like at speed you don't really realize how far you turned. Should I go this way? Yeah, maybe. Let's see. Let's just put on. Alright, let's just go this way. Let's see how this goes. Huh. Oh, bit of a wet and swoopy start. Let's see, scratchy bushes on the left. I think straight down the middle looks like it's probably the best bet. Try not to plant my feet in the mud. Let's see, oh yeah, it's not too bad. Kind of gravelly underneath, so could have been a lot worse. I was worried it was gonna be like roots and slippy rocks underneath, but hey. That wasn't so bad. Oh yeah, this is the one. Alright. Oh, yeah. So I've intersected. <laughs> yeah, this is the one. Yeah, so... Phone off. Put that thing away. So this is the trail. That I had biked up once. So basically coming out of Poco, if you come out of Poco towards the highway, you see these trails, dirt trails, like single track. Some of it's double track, but not gravel road. And it's uh, on the side, on the left side of the highway. And I was basically just following those and it's fun cruising along up and down over drainage areas. And then I came out to this road and just super super steep and gross coming up this way and then you get up here and it's like does not get any better it's just like some of these stones are just baby head size all the way smallest ones are like golf balls and then just on top of really loose gravel and then there's embedded rock so it's like pretty crazy mix but uh but yeah i just plowed i went i went pretty far i don't think i got a lot past that Tall eucalyptus -y. actually, it's not even a eucalyptus, that's a spruce pine. Uh, yeah, anyways, just a pest around the corner there, and I kind of had to get off and walk a bit because I was just toast. I was not expecting such a steep, loose climb. But, anyways, yeah, I think if I go down this one, it should take me towards the road. Possibly I can take the single track to that road, and then there's a loop trail that goes kind of around the, uh, the other mountain where you can go up, way up onto like the lookout. Great bottles, by the way. Elite 750ml jet with the lid. Keeps the mud off the nozzle. These trails are pretty close to home, so it's only like a couple clicks to get here. So yeah, I don't really need to carry a ton.
ton of water. But if I really want to, I could throw two bottles on the... I could throw this bottle here. I got the tool bottle below it, and then I could throw another water bottle in my backpack. But right now I just got an orange in the backpack. So anyways, let's go down this hill and see if I can find some of that single track out to the other trail. That would be cool. This looks like garbage. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh. Ooh. 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 I mean, I don't even know if this is what I rode over last time. It looks like it is a fairly old road though. They've just completely logged over it. One sketchy thing though is, uh, oh yeah, this is not the trail I thought it was, okay. Oh well. I'm at the highway, so based off that, I might as well just, I love just joining onto a highway. Well, I'll see you at the trail turn off the Coco then. Uh, all right. I mean, that was maybe two clicks. Here's a turn off. Poco. Poco. Pocho. Oh, Pocho. Alright, so. I mean. Look at this. I mean, if we had roads like this back home, I probably would have been a roadie. Because, like. What the hell? Beautiful views. Smooth black road. Alfa Romeos. And after the like one car goes by, all you hear is your tires and your breath. So I'm gonna stop talking. Distracted by the beautiful natural drainage. So, I'm pretty sure this crossing here. Yeah. This is where I want to be. I'm just going to linger down here in the shade for a sec. Well, either way, I'm at a trail. Oh, look, one more car going by. Cool. But yeah, man, hot today. Kind of. In need of some water again. Hey, look at this view, man. Slick. Bike. Yeah. It honestly is such a beautiful day. I'm not going to complain about anything. Even if I get a flat, I mean, I've got a full tube, I've got a patch kit, pump. I'm not reeling on canisters. He used to do that. And then I ran into an issue like I had with this previous tube change was, you know, you patch it, you put it in, and it's still leaking and going flat. And it's like, oh crap, man. It wasn't a single puncture, it was two thorns, you know. 
man, you can burn through some CO2 cartridges making dumb mistakes like that. So easier to not make dumb mistakes and just uh, bring a pump. It's tiny, fits in a water bottle. And even if it doesn't, because I stuffed too much stuff in the water bottle already, it's got a frame strap that goes on the water bottle mount. So like, <laughs> why wouldn't you? Oh, this breeze is nice and cool here. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this breeze for a minute. Uh, crack open that orange maybe, and then I'll get going on this trail. So I'll see you after I've done some water and eating. Also, Portuguese oranges, so delicious. From the farmer's market this morning. This thing is hefty, full of juice, sugar. Oh my God, I haven't even started eating it. I just licked my finger and this is unjokingly the best orange I've had in my life so far. Okay, I don't even know how to tell you, but that was like, <laughs> the, the equivalent of that orange is if you ever go to Hawaii and you eat a ripe Hawaiian grown pineapple in Hawaii, you can almost never eat pineapple anywhere else again. Because <clears throat> it's just like it'll never live up to that. That orange was the equivalent for Portugal, I think. I, it's like honey and so good and juicy. Oh my god. It was just a random grab pick at the uh, farmer's market this morning in Deshanova. Yeah. Like a dollar twenty a kilo. <laughs> Anyways, trail time. <clears throat> I don't want to go too far. I'm actually feeling a little bit uh, dry so far, so maybe a little dust, I'm not sure. But yeah, we'll go for a bit and turn around when I get a little bit breathless and uh, pedal our way back. Let's go. Oh yeah, this one, uh, I remember this, this specific trail last time, because I've never been on it previously to the last time and uh, I kind of went hot into like some of the little sections and man these little ruts are st steep walled you really can't even pedal up some of the ruts because they're so narrow you just pedal cliff the whole way <clears throat> and like I am running some like wider flat pedals the stock actually they're, they're not too bad they're pretty decently grippy with uh, decently grippy shoes on there's plastic but they're light my feet stick to them and look at this come on micro shift you do it you do it yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's a fun little, fun little trail though. Rocky, some roots. This is like the fun line, I guess. The other line down there is a bit flatter. But yeah. Still steep enough to get the heart rate going. <clears throat> Pine cones here crack me up. They're like the size of softballs. Here we go. This side line. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've been nineties biker early 2000s biker, mid 2000s bike mechanic, worker, builder, 
come to realize most of these shifters are pretty decent shifters slash derailers it's like as long as it's not like the bottom of the barrel should not a tourney or something or anything lower than Dior, I guess. From Shimano. You're like, just give the, give your shifts room to breathe and they should be okay. <clears throat> like even if I'm on this uphill, if I had to drop a gear, it's just ease off the gas, then shift. But uh, yeah. This is the <clears throat> the stock nine speed micro shift advent shifting system on this. I'm guessing it's the equivalent of Dior, but cheaper and like I've had to adjust it since when I got the bike. Like, I don't put it past decathlon people setting up bikes, but it wasn't perfect when I got it. Just had to tweak the limit screws to be tension. And uh, yeah, it's been solid ever since. Let's see how it handles this rut. Not bad. And that's just in. First gear. I mean, I'm burning up my lungs, but it's mostly because I'm old. Not to do with the shifters. So yeah, check out the view. Top of the afternoon to ya. I mean, I don't want to keep going on about this bike, but for the price point, like, I cannot fault it. I'm having fun. Stock suspension. Stock pedals. Stock tires and wheels. I mean, I can definitely outrun this fork. And I'm definitely willing to push it further than it wants to go. Which I found out last time <laughs> going down the, uh, I went up to the, uh, yes, that does have very uh, low pedal clearance, but uh, you can see back in that gully, I actually did a little half crank back to keep the pedals level. Well, I'm, trying to speed up um, but I mean that's just geometry etc kind of makes me think that, like this bike will whoa slipped out there foot off the pedal that's all right just a bit of an ankle biter <clears throat> Was I gonna? Yeah, I don't know. I'm really happy with the grip on these tires for the area is actually not bad. They're just considered all conditions tires, very Hutchinson Python like, and they're they're grabbing stuff. Uh, helmet draggers. climb up I remember this should be okay I don't skewer my brain on that yeah I got this yeah I got this I got you slabbed side slabs 
Sled magic. Whew. Yeah, like, I feel like this fork is garbage, yeah. But at least it's got a coil spring, so it's like heavy, but it's absorptive. Problem more is that I'm a large person. I would consider myself. Geometry fits me okay on this, but like the spring rate in this fork is ridiculous. Like, I know you can't really see it in video right now, but I'll show you the stanchions after. And like, I'm not getting close to 100 mils travel on it. Oh, I know. Tight spots, man. Okay. But yeah, I'm not getting no near the 100 mil travel on it. And like, when I'm heavy, especially holding a one liter, almost three quarter liter water bottle, plus another tool bottle full of tools in a full size, not light tube. And my bike, like pushing close to, well, I guess the bike doesn't count, I'm on the bike. But like, I'd be close to 90 kg. <clears throat> So I think that qualifies as large, you know, I fit the frame, all that. So, I mean, if anything, like, especially these beginner type hikes, like beginner slash good bikes, like this retailed at 500 euros previously on sale for 429 euros including VAT and like man that fork it's pretty uncomfortable <laughs> stop here in the shade a second but you can see there I mean I used to run 80 mil and 100 mil Manitou's back in the early 2000s. And like, I'd get more travel than that out of a fork that weighed a pound less, you know? Anyways. Anyways, yeah, I hope the uh, battery doesn't die out too soon. I'll show you some of the trip home. But uh, yeah, actually feeling pretty tired after not biking for like 10 days and uh, so this little bit of shade in a 30 degree day is pretty awesome. Check out that view behind. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful sunny day here in somewhat central Portugal. So this is just outside of Condeixa Nova, which is basically 20 minute drive, 15 minute drive south from Coimbra. And we're about 40 minute drive from the ocean, so Figueroa de Foz. Uh, it's a great place and <clears throat> the weather is so good so far. Get bits of rain here and there and lots of sun. When the sun's out, it's hot. Even when it's a 23 degree day, if it's sunny, man, you feel that sun, <laughs> it's hot sun. But yeah, it's beautiful out. So check out this view before I potentially lose battery on this Osmo pocket. Just gonna fire up down these same trails I just rode up and uh, I haven't actually done this little bit in reverse because the last time that I came here I actually kept following here and this road veers right and goes straight up this mountain. And uh, yeah, I had to walk half that because it's so steep and loose. Like honestly, probably close to a 50 degree angle some of it, so. It's a little crazy, but yeah, it's a beautiful day. <clears throat> I'm gonna grab a little sip more water. <clears throat> this dust is getting in my lungs now. And uh, yeah, we'll head her back. I'll try and film some short little clips on the way back, okay? 
All right, so here's the view. And uh, here's the other side. Zoop. So, I mean, not a crazy incline, but man, a little, uh, a little more water would have helped, I think. It's parched and it's hot. It's so hot right now here. So yeah, I'm just hiking biking up this this road here because man, I am pushing down some power and don't feel like it's doing anything. So I'm just gonna walk up and have a nice pedal back down to Conambriga. So yeah, the uh, Osmo died obviously, <laughs> and that's okay. It was only at about 60% uh, battery when I left, so I I'm pretty happy with how much footage I got from it. I'll go over the footage after and uh, I'm gonna upload it like it is and see if you guys have some suggestions maybe on how to tweak Osmo settings for chesty mounts. Like I was, I tried a little bit of FPV, I tried a little bit of uh, follow and then I had it on tilt lock for a lot of it too just to see how those settings all work better or not and uh, yeah we'll see what it looks like afterwards on the computer. It's really hard to judge it by the uh, small screen on the Osmo Pocket itself. So yeah, we'll figure it out. Anyways, yeah, I'm still alive. Not too far from the top here, and then I get a nice pedal down. So I'll check in after that and see you later.